I can never hide being a woman. I can never hide being an African-American black woman. That is who I am. That's going to show up as soon as I walk in the room. Being gay, I can not necessarily show up that way if I don't want to. But I'm so thankful that I don't have to make that choice. I was born in a small town in South Carolina. The schools were still segregated right before I started school. And I remember at the theater, it was just commonplace that we went to the balcony. That was where the blacks were required to sit. When the state fair would come to town, certain nights were nights that blacks could go to the fair. You don't necessarily at a young age understand every dynamic, but you do ask yourself, why? Why, why am I being treated differently? Why am I being challenged? You don't know those words like discrimination and things like that at that age, but you do know you've been treated differently. And I was blessed enough to have parents that said, you can do better. When I did come out to my family, it was hard for me and it was hard for them. And we really had very limited contact. A black child growing up in the South, your family was everything. Because of all the discrimination and all the issues, anytime something bad happened, you could always come home. But going through this alone, because that's the way I felt. I moved to Oregon in 2004. I currently work for Wells Fargo. I am the chair of the Pride Team Member Network, and I'm also the president for Capital Pride in Salem, Oregon. I came here with the intent of not being back in the closet for anybody. I don't feel that I have to do anything but be me in most places I go in Oregon. And while that might sound strange, just being able to walk in a restaurant, walk in a store and be normal. What concerns me the most about, as we like to call it, the cake case, you know, that's going on in the Supreme Court right now. Growing up the way I did and knowing that discrimination was already there and things were limited, it's like we're stepping back in time. When I moved here at work, I never had one issue of being the gay black leader at Wells Fargo and being able to show up at work and show up as me. It gives others that opportunity and that freedom. And they have told me, you know, that was some of the best things about coming to work is that they realize if she can be herself, then, wow, this may be the place I want to be.